Hello, I'm Matt from Roto, and I just wanted to talk about the new Tamron announcement for the four new lenses they've got coming out, in particular, the 70 to 180 for Sony. Now, I wouldn't say I'm a photography news channel, obviously I'm everything photography and film, but when Tamron officially, finally announced the 70 to 180 mil zoom lens for the Sony e-mount system, I was very excited. I've heard rumors for a long time that this lens was going to be coming out at some point, and it feels like the whole of this year we've been waiting for concrete information. Well, this week they finally announced it. We have the 70 to 180 at 2.8. I don't believe it's going to be a stabilized version. It doesn't say VC on the model number, and that's their vibration control system, so I don't think that's going to be on there, but I'll also tend to use it during the day. So it's something I would just put my shutter speed up and not be too much of an issue, to be honest. So here's a quick look at what the lens looks like. It's exactly the same style as the 28 to 75. That is what I'm shooting on right now, so I can't show you in hand, but it is only what looks like, just a few centimeters taller than that, which is great. I love the size and weight of the 28 to 75 and I can't wait to get my hands on this lens. From what I understand, it's going to be coming out in the new year, may even be into sort of March or April time, which whilst that's great for me ahead of wedding season, I just wanna have a go now, so I'm itching to get my hands on it. If the image is anything like what you get with the Tamron 28 to 75, just seeing some of these images here is what I captured with that over this last 12 months. It's such a good lens. The image is always sharp, I like the look of it, I like the bokeh you get on it, and for the price you're paying, it's superb. Now there's no known price on the 70 to 180. I'm hoping it's well under a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars. I'm a bit worried it might be sort of 1100, 1200 dollars. Um, but with a bit of luck, we'll get it around the eight, nine hundred, a bit like the price for the super wide angle at 17 to 28 that they released a couple of months ago. That's something that doesn't quite suit my style. I don't do much wide angle, but I hear amazing things about it. I've had a little play, and if, again, this is anything like those two, this 70-180 to 180 is going to be brilliant. So not also is it not very long, it's also very compact and light. It's only 815 grams, which is really lightweight for such a brilliant focal length. The 20 millimeters that's missing from your standard 70-200 to 200 isn't really an issue for me. I am not always a long range shooter. I use the 85 mil on most occasions and I've been weighing up the Sony 135 G Master. That's not a cheap lens and not as versatile as I would like. I think it will give me the image I want, but again, at the price that it's set and how much I would use it, it has made me think twice. And I, to be honest, have been waiting for news on this 70 to 180 that's going to be much more versatile for me and I think let me be creative when I need to be, but also help when it comes to weddings, stood at the back of the church or taking speeches when you don't want to protrude into the middle of the room, you should let me get some lovely portraits. So that's what I want it for really, and that's what I can't wait for. They also maintain that it's very fast and quiet when it comes to focusing, which I have to admit is the same with the 2875, very fast, very quiet. Shouldn't be any difference there with this new one. They claim it's moisture resistant, which I'm assuming it's good for any damp environments. They're not saying weatherproof, so I wouldn't want to get it too wet. But again, that's the same with the 2875, and I've put that for its paces this last 12 months, and it's been brilliant anyway. Part of this launch was also announced along with three new prime lenses, which are gonna be coming out quite soon. Um, those are very affordable, I think quite budget friendly. They're all 2.8, which for a prime lens is something that a lot of people would like to see a little bit faster, maybe around the 1.8 or even F2. Uh, but f2.8, they should still perform nice, and I think at the price, they're looking at $350. Again, £350 in the UK, about the same price, and I can't argue with that. I see where they're coming from, and I see what they're trying to do, and they're going to be very small and lightweight lenses. Um, they're not aiming it at high-end professionals, and I think they're going to find themselves with quite a few people buying those prime lenses as a nice step into primes. I will get my hands on them, I will try them out, and I will put them through their paces as best I can through weddings over the next 12 months. So do keep an eye out if that's something you're interested in. Um, maybe do subscribe and like the video, and it'll remind you when they come up. So as I say, I don't cover much in the world of photography news, but I had to mention this. 
I can't wait till this lens comes out. No matter what, I'm getting my hands on one and you can expect a full review here on the channel just like I normally do. Let's hope it's gonna be good. Thanks again for watching everyone. Please do give a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be kept informed of our new videos as they come out. As always, I'm Matt from Roto and I will catch you in the next one.